Tang knife is something that I've always recommended that you carry because the knife that you carry or the knife that you have on your hip is probably the last thing you're going to lose in an emergency. You can lose all of your gear out of a canoe, out of a boat, anything like that. But unless you steal, somebody steals your pants, you're probably not going to lose your knife. So the knife that you carry on your hip has to be capable of doing lots and lots of things in the short-term survival scenario. It has to be capable of fine carving and processing in case you have to make something that to start a fire with or process fine tinder materials and do fine shaving work. It has to also be capable of processing larger pieces of wood that you may need for fuel sources. So you've got that ability with this to baton this knife directly on the spine and you don't have that weak margin of error right here where you have material reduction in the blade to make a lesser than full tank or rat tail tank design. So you're not putting that stress in that weakest point of that steel by batoning that knife. So that gives you a big advantage. They put a 90 degree spine on this blade so that instead of compromising your blade to have to strike a fire steel or to process wood materials, Instead of trying to make fine carvings with the knife, you can come in with the spine and you can use it as a spoke shaving device or draw shaving device to create those fine shavings just like this, saving the important functions of that blade for finer carving, skinning casts, and things like that. And then because you have that 90 degree spine, you can come right back in there with that spine and use it to start your fire. And you don't have to worry about carrying an extra piece of equipment or ruining the blade of your knife by compromising it on that fire steel. So those are all good functionalities of this knife. The other thing with this knife is it's coming with several different options for carry. And that's a good thing. It has a flap leather sheet design here that gives it full retention, a flap that covers over, and you're never gonna lose it. You turn it upside down in a canoe and you fall out, the knife is never upside down to the point where it's gonna come out of anything. It's always retained in that leather sheet. It's gonna protect it from wear and tear. Because it's stainless steel, it's gonna be protected fairly well from rust anyway. But one of the things that I find that's an advantage to leather over Kydex in wetter environments, like down south in the swamps, in a jungle, is sand and dirt. When you get sand and dirt in Kydex, especially, when you put your knife in there, it tears up the blade. It scratches the blade. It's very hard to clean that Kydex out. You don't have that problem with leather. Leather's gonna repel that, and you can just wash it out. Same thing with plastic. With a sheath like this that you've got, this is left or right-handed, so it's ambidextrous in nature. Another big advantage of this sheath. It's got holes in the bottom for drainage. It's got plenty of room in there for the blade. Plenty of room to just wash that thing out in the creek. You don't have to expose any metal portions of this knife to anything to clean this sheath out. You can just clean this sheath out. Now, the way this thing's set up, this is a multifunctional mount. And it can be used as a piece of molly gear if you're using it for a tactical application on a vest or on your backpack. It has mounting bracket holes in it so you can mount it to a boat, an ATV, inside a camper, in your canoe, in your boat or your kayak, right on the front of your kayak. And the way it's set up is, it's totally removable. It's almost like a fire extinguisher bracket. This thing sits down inside this bracket like this, and it will snap in place when this is all said and done. And then you can just remove it. You've got a strap retention here. So when you want to remove this knife, from the bracketing, get this Velcro. All you're going to have to do is this is going to be strapped on, or you don't have to use a strap to either way for a bracket. Take this off, and you can remove this blade and still have it in the sheath away from the bracket. So if I've got this on my ATV or my boat, I want to walk off in the woods with my knife. You've got a couple different retention things here, and both of them will fit on this bracket. So you can have it so it's retained in a belt loop fashion. So you can just pull it off and stick it on your belt. Or you can have the retention like this for that bracket so that it comes completely over the blade over the top here so that when it's in this sheath, you have the same retention that you have in the leather on this sheath. So that when you put the knife in, you pull this over the top and then it doesn't matter, it's never coming out of it. So if you've got this thing attached to your boat, your kayak, you roll your kayak, 
something like that, this is never going to come out of there no matter what you do. It's not coming out. And it's not coming off because it's strapped to it. And it's going to snap it. So you've got double retention there. So this becomes like your emergency bracket, for like a fire extinguisher or something like that would be. This is a bracket for your knife. But it also will attach to your molly gear, your vest, your backpack, with the same advantage of being able to pull the knife and remove it and be able to put it on your belt, leave your backpack at camp. And it makes a great secondary backup knife as well as just a good one tool office type knife on your belt. So those are the big advantages that I see of this knife. Now, the way this thing's set up right now, recommended SRP, with this multifunctional bracketing kit, is going to be about $99.95, $109.95 with the leather. Leather adds quite a bit of cost. So I've already heard a lot of people say, well, it's a more knife. How come that thing's a hundred bucks? New technology is why it's a hundred bucks. You've got the highest quality stainless steel in this knife that you could possibly get. That is being utilized in a specialized process at more knives to give it the correct hardness to get the most durability out of this knife as well as blade retention. And that is proprietary knowledge, two more, okay? You also have new material in this handle that's revolutionary that resists wear and tear. And then you've got design features in this knife that are different than any other knife on the market that make it much more adaptable to everything from the tactical environment, operating environments, all the way to camping, bushcraft, and hunting environments. So you've got an all-in-one knife system right here that you can use for anything that you're going to do in one knife. You never have to buy another. Because I've never seen more ever tell anybody, I won't replace that knife. So if you ever did anything to that knife, I'm sure you could get another one real quick. So that's the advantages to this knife that I see over a lot of other knives on the market today. Functionality, durability, quality, guaranteed. Questions? Alright guys, thank you, I appreciate it.